Good morning, Monday. This is Peter Galante with Cassandra Coop. And today we're going to be talking about the second video assignment, which is Rack Focus. So I've pulled uh, up on the screen right now a YouTube video from the film Young Vict um, Victoria. And you can see in the search bar that there's, uh, there's the, the actual link is up there. But you can also search it yourself. So this thing is about five minutes long, and I don't know that we're going to look at the whole thing here. But the first moment is a really beautiful example of rack focus. So you can see in the image, there's the uh, one of the, uh, I don't know if you call him butler, whatever. He's placing the silverware on the table, and there's one piece of silverware that's in focus and one goblet that's in focus. And as the camera pulls now down the down to the end you can see how it how it pulled through all of the different uh, goblets as they were focused very very shallow depth of field and then you end up at the end of the uh, table with another butler and you weren't even aware that he was there uh, when the focus was at the beginning shot if I move this back here and we look at that again, you can see it's just beautiful the way it pulls to the end. So that's a really good example of rack focus. And what I want you to use in rack focus is it, 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 the plane of focus, that shallow depth of field, is what directs your attention. Now the rest of the film moves on and they're constantly using this technique through the... Um, the uh, the film okay so here it is it goes it pulls across the table as they talk and <clears throat> that's kind of what we're talking about it's a great example of see how it pulled now from the background see he's talking now we spin to another camera angle right the attention is down here, and then it pulls back to him as he starts to talk. That's a very good example of how we use rack focus. So the key is that the plane of focus is being used to direct the viewer's attention. And and when, and it's so it's really interesting in this shot here, where you can see he's in crisp focus and the background's all blurred out. And even the woman he's speaking with, which I believe is young Victoria, uh, she's out of focus here. So this whole clip goes on and on, and now it, you know, it pulls back and forth to the to the different people, as you as you can see. Now she's in focus, but a different camera angle. So this is a really excellent example of using rack focus on a professional level. And then the, and as they go on, they pull the focus across the table. And um, it's always about, you know, maintaining your attention. Okay. So the reason why we call it rack focus is because <clears throat> the cameras uh, are put in a rack and there's a person who's sole responsibility is to pull the focus and if you look at movie credits you'll find somebody who's you know you'll find the credit of the person and he's called the focus puller so it's a very 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 critical thing it requires a lot of practice so you don't have those kind of things but you can mark on your camera barrels with tape and some mar and some marks where the close focus is and the further focus is so you don't have to look at the the uh, the camera display and try to figure out what it is you can practice the movement moving from one focus spot to another spot that you've marked on the camera barrel so you can just uh, and you'll need to use manual focus for this you can't use auto focus alright so let's uh, I'm gonna uh, you know and just close this one up and we're gonna look at some student examples here 
So here's a student example that's very typical of what happens in Hollywood. Oops, I did not do it. Okay, so you couldn't read the sign until he pulled the focus to the sign. And now here's the the funny part, the kicker. So as he uh, as he comes back here, you, you're not even aware that this is in fact a Snickers bar, uh, which is a typical thing that that filmmakers do. Something is so close to the camera you can't tell what it is. And then as the uh, as it comes into focus, it starts to take its its true shape. And then the uh, the person in the background is out of focus again. So this is a really good example for student of using, you need to use at least two rack focus pulls. Here's the first one, which I think is great. You really can't read the sign as until he pulls it to the focus to it. And then he comes into the frame, collapses, and then he pulls it to the kicker, which becomes the, the funny thing. Um, I want to show you another pretty good example of uh, rack focus. Let's see this one. No, I don't like this one that much. Uh, we got here. Okay, this one's decent. So the focus pulls from the thumb to the car. Now the focus moves from the dashboard to the hitchhiker. And it's pretty simple, you know, two focus pulls, okay? But decent. Uh, let's see what this one is. Okay, this one is a really interesting one. So you're looking out a window, and you're not really aware of the window screen that's out of focus. until the focus pulls in and then you're very much aware that you're looking through a window and it keeps coming back you know to the hand so really that's only one focus I really want you to pull it twice but this is again a typical Hollywood uh, experience where there's something very close to the camera that you're not really aware of and then you start to you know as you start to realize it's a window screen and the person is you know sort of stalking the woman you, you know it makes sense and then the focus keeps pulling back the window screen becomes very much in focus and then the blinds and the hand come in and as it backs away so that's only one focus pull i really want you to do two Let's see what we got here this one's pretty interesting also game pieces as it, you know it pulls to the back and then you know it picks up the green piece gets discarded. <laughs> Again, only one focus pull. Uh, and then he's burnt. <laughs> Poor guy. Pulls back. All right. So there you go. There's the two focus pulls. It's pretty interesting. You know, we have the focus up close on the one figure. Pulls to the back. And again, this is a really good example. You're not even aware of the green figure in the background till it, till it comes into focus comes in he's pointing the wrong way don't really understand the the motivation here but reaches in gets the thing burns the poor guy right it's very interesting here the way the focus goes from the flame and you know again you're not even aware that the person's holding the figure pulls to the the flame and then from the flame to the figure and then back to the game board okay so those are pretty good examples 30 seconds minimum of two focus pulls use the focus to help tell the story 
and uh, I know it's going to be difficult to rotate your uh, your focus dials, your focus controls. So therefore, I really think you know you could uh, use some tape. You might even make a little handle on your focus with a wire tie or some tape so that you can move it easier. Make and make marks where you know you're you're pulling. So you, you have a mark for for the focus where it's close, and a mark for its fo for focus when it's back and there, therefore you don't have to worry about hitting the mark each time you shoot. Okay, so we're going to cut this one now and the next one we're going to talk about will be the next assignment. Okay, ciao.